these are the May finals. So these will take away uh, the pre-numbers that we had. 82.8, of course, was the number mid-month. It now changes to 82.9. That's our final read for May. How does that stack up 82.9? It's actually the week is going back to February when it was 76.8. So we did take a little bit of a dip there. But as I said, it's virtually the same as mid-month read. We just expected a bit of a climb. And if we look at expectations, expectations at 78.8, usurping 77.6 mid-month. So that improved current conditions. Uh, originally, uh, mid-month, 90.8. We backtrack a bit to 89.4. Now, here's where it really gets interesting. If you look at one-year inflation, up 4.6. This is huge. And if you look at 5- to 10-year inflation, 3.0, 3.0, 3.0. You, you have to go back a ways to find these numbers, especially on the uh, 4.6. I brought a data bank that went back to 2011. Not far enough, unfortunately. So we continue to see the inflation data is hot. The question is, what word will we label it as we start to get into the thick of it showing up in the marketplace and in interest rates? Will it be transient or not is really what I'm referring to. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.